this is example number two and this is slightly complex profile than we compare to example number one number one and this is how we design this entire tutorial as you progress in the tutorial we get to deal with complex uh, sheet metal parts and you can do a lot of operations in it and you will learn a lot while unbending and designing a tool for it so the topic is unbending of complex profiles in this component we have a complex uh, flange contour and we have a drawn cutout and similar complex contour here so this cannot be easily it is easy but it 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 takes some uh, skill and know how to do this we do this unbending using uh, a tool in intermediate state tools that is called formability one step this is the icon of it and it's available in intermediate state tools you click on this icon you will get a big window uh, a lengthy window like this and uh, it will ask for something and uh, some uh, uh, selection like which is the region you want to unform and which is the region which you want to keep it as target so this is the first two things you need to select in this window this is the contour we want to unform so select all these uh, surface only the outer or either you need to select inner surface of this feature or the outer surface of this feature and this is the unformed region which you want to unform and this is the target region which where you want to project it so next is under same uh, window you need to select which material which type of material you are dealing with here we have selected steel and next is uh, we want to tell progressive dive wizard that which surface did i select like if you have selected the inner surface you in this drop down menu you have to select keep it as inner surface or in this example i have used outer surface so i have keeping surface type as outer and click here for info thickness a progressive dive wizard will automatically calculate the thickness and do analysis next is we need to define the uh, we need to do the meshing so uh, what is the you need to define what is the element size so if you keep a very high element size the accuracy of the re result will not be good and if you keep very minute very low overall element size it will take long time for processing so an ideally 0.6 to 0.8 is fairly good and once you enter this uh, value here click on this define mesh and you will see that the mesh is provided a mesh is automatically produced second is you need to ensure that this mesh is of good quality this is just a quality check you click here this is number two operation second operation and it will tell you that this uh, uh, mesh is good and give a green signal to go ahead next is uh, calculate this is the third operation in it and unfortunately it won't give a uh, a feature this the result of this uh, formability analysis formability one step analysis is a curve so what to do with this curve this is uh, i would say this is one of the limitation of uh, a progressive dive wizard what you need to do is once you get this uh, uh, curve you need to somehow remove this existing feature in it you can do by either an extrude cut or you go to home go to synchronous modeling and do a delete phase it's up to you you can use any method to remove that this particular highlighted feature once it's removed it look like this and using the resulted 
the resultant uh, curves that is produ produced after the analysis you can use that contour and you can produce an extrude which matches this uh, uh, target region and this is how we create a complex uh, unforming next is uh, uh, we we have one feature called round cutout here or burring so to this is also not common way of uh, uh, doing unforming so we use a new tool for doing uh, unfolding of this this is called universal unform you can find it in intermediate state tools this is the icon once you click this icon you keep it uh, a bent type as the burring select uh, the reference face this is the reference face and this is the bend which we need to unfold once you are done this will be automatically unfolded to a sheet metal it will be very clear when i show it in video